Mass Murder. It's alive! Utter chaos. Today I'm watching Frankenstein, the original horror show. This is the second movie I'm watching from the Universal Classic Monsters 30 film collection. I'm watching all the Universal Monster movies in order and I'm watching them all for the first time. Frankenstein is probably my favorite monster of all the Universal Horror Monsters. I've got my Frankenstein shirt on and I'm ready to go. Stay tuned to hear my top three scenes from the movie. Let's watch Frankenstein. How do you do? We are about to unfold the story of Frankenstein, a man of science. It is one of the strangest tales ever told. It deals with the two great mysteries. Spooky of guy. Life Reminds me of the uh, bartender in The Shining. It might even horrify you. I love how they gave a warning. Scientist with beams coming out of his eyes, or a cre creature with beams coming out of his eyes. Interesting credit sequence with the eyeballs spinning around. The monster, question mark. Adds a bit of mystery for the people who are just seeing this for the first time. Amen. <laughs> Ooh, cool. Down, down, you fool. Yeah, that's ominous. Look in the graveyard shift. Now, come on. Okay, so Frankenstein and his insane looking assistant are hurry, hurry. gonna go dig up the body. <laughs> Threw it right in that skeleton's face. Echoey sound, you can kind of tell they're in a sound stage. He's just resting, waiting for a new life to come. The assistant has that little cane that I recognize uh, young Frankenstein having done a parody of. Oh, is that a body hanging up? It's still the gallows? Here. Oh yeah. Climb up and cut the rope. So if I have it right, the assistant is the same guy that played Renfield in Dracula. Certainly sounds like he's got the same voice. Look out! The neck's broken. The brain is useless. We must find another brain. I can't help but like think of young Frankenstein all throughout this because I've seen young Frankenstein so many times. But I've never seen this. And in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's Van Helsing. Here we have one of the most perfect specimens of the human brain. And here the abnormal brain of the typical criminal, the dead man before us, whose life was one of brutality, of violence and murder. Brutality, violence and murder. Thank you, the class is <laughs> That skeleton's still bouncing up and down in the background. <laughs> now, that label is handwritten now, but it was not in the other scene. Just like the young Frankenstein. All right, he's got the abnormal brain now. Her Victor Morris. Victor. I'm so glad you've come. I love old rooms like that in these movies. They kind of make me think of hidden passages behind bookcases or spooky vibes. My work must come first, even before you. I am living in an abandoned old watchtower. Only my assistant is here to help me with my experiments. Those experiments? Yes, that's what frightens me. He said he was on the verge of a discovery so terrific that he doubted his own sanity. About three weeks ago, I met him walking alone in the woods. I asked him if I might visit his laboratory. He just glared at me and said he'd let no one go there. I'll go to Dr. Waldman, Henry's old professor in medical school. Perhaps he can tell me more about all this. Well, Victor, your idea. You know I'd go to the ends of the earth for you. Is this guy, like, vying for her affection? Victor. But she's, I'm like... Sorry. Attached to Frankenstein? Victor! 
What is it? I'm coming with you. But Elizabeth, you can't do that. I must. Herr Frankenstein is a most brilliant young man, yet so erratic. I'm worried about Henry. Why has he left the university? Herr Frankenstein is greatly changed. You mean changed as a result of his work? Yes, his work. His insane ambition to create life. He wished us to supply him with other bodies. And we were not to be too particular as to where and how we got. He found what he needed elsewhere. Oh, the bodies of animals. You do not quite get what I mean. Herr Frankenstein was interested only in human life. First to destroy it, then recreate it. There you have his mad dream. His mad dream. I must see him. Won't you help us to take him away? Very well, Fräulein. I've warned you. But if you wish it, I will go. Oh, cool. Oh, the lab. How awesome. Fritz! Hello. Hello. Have you finished making those connections? We've lots to do. Oh, he's got to come down that knotted rope. The storm will be magnificent. All the electrical secrets of heaven. And look, here's the final touch. The brain you stole, Fritz. Think of it. The waiting to live again in a body I made with my own hands. Wow. Throw the switches. Love that 1930s laboratory set. So awesome. It's Dr. Bosman, Fritz. You can't see him. Go away. It's kind of weird. He had to pull his sock up. Open the door! There is in! You must leave me alone now. It's Elizabeth. Open the door! What do you want? Open the door. Let us in! You must leave me alone. All right, he's letting them in. Meanwhile, they're all perfectly dry. I'm quite all right. My experiment is almost completed. You're crazy. Crazy, am I? We'll see whether I'm crazy or not. <laughs> come on up. Come on up. You quite sure you want to come in? Very well. You said I was crazy. Tomorrow we'll see about that. Dr. Valman, I learned a great deal from you at the university. I have discovered the great ray that first brought life into the world. And your proof? Tonight you shall have your proof. I'm going to turn that ray on that body and endow it with life. That body is not dead. It has never lived. I created it. I made it with my own hands from the bodies I took from graves, from the gallows, anywhere. Go and see for yourself. Eh? Quite a good scene, isn't it? Wow. Awesome. must have been pretty controversial in the early 30s. Henry is well, but he's very busy. 
He said he would get in touch with you soon. You think I'm an idiot, don't you? But I'm not. What's the matter with my son? What's he doing? He's completing his experiments, that's all. Why does he go missing around an old ruined windmill? Baron, you don't understand. I understand perfectly well. <laughs> There's another woman. If you please, Herr Baron, the Burgomaster. Good day, Herr Baron. <laughs> well, what do you want? I brought you these flowers. That looks Herr like Herr a Bogus. caricature. What do you want? Well, well, what I really want to know is when will the wedding be, if you please? Uh, unless Henry comes to his senses, there'll be no wedding. The village is already prepared. Well, tell him to unprepare. Such a fine young man, the very image of his father. Heaven forbid. Don't keep on saying so, you idiot. <laughs> there, 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 there's nothing to cry about. <laughs> Good day, Herr Bogle. Good day, Herr Baron. And good riddance to you. Henry must come home if I have to fetch him myself. No, no, Baron. This creature of yours should be kept under guard. Mark my words. He will prove dangerous. Have you never wanted to do anything that was dangerous? You never wanted to look beyond the clouds and the stars? But if you talk like that, people call you crazy. Well, if I could discover just one of these things, I wouldn't care if they did think I was crazy. Here we have a fiend whose brain... Whose brain must be given time to develop. It's a perfectly good brain, Doctor. It came from your own laboratory. The brain that was stolen from my laboratory was a criminal brain. Uh-oh. Oh, well. After all, it's only a piece of dead tissue. Only evil can come of it. You have created a monster and it will destroy you. I believe in this monster, as you call it. I've got to experiment further. He's only a few days old, remember. Footsteps. Here he comes. I can't imagine this scene in the 30s where people had no, had never seen this movie before uh, and it doesn't have the cultural significance it has now. Wow. Come in. Sit down. You see, it understands. Watch. Take care, Herr Frankenstein. Take care. Reaching for the light. Shut out the light. Go and sit down. Like pleading for something. Frankenstein, Frankenstein, where is it? Where is it? Ah! Quiet, you fool! Get away with that torch! Hates the torch, hates the light, hates the fire. Quick! Get him to the cellar. Shoot it! It's a monster! It's a monster! Ooh, he's got a whip. That trouble way he has to spend some days in it. Well, oh, give me that. Oh, oh come away, Fritz. Just leave it alone. Uh, Fritz is cruel. Finally has someone he can bully. It. 
the barman. Who's knocking? Elizabeth and your father are coming up the hill to see you. Quick, yes. give me a hand. Henry, you better hurry upstairs and get that blood off your face. Is that the front door? God! <laughs> what a forsaken place here. This old man's a piece of work. Down, eh? Well, what's the matter with you? <laughs> you look as if you've been kicked by a horse. Where's Henry? I beg your pardon. I am Dr. Bosner. Oh, are you? I'm Baron Frankenstein. I would advise you to take Henry away from here at once. Well, what do you suppose I'm here for? Pleasure? What? Nah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how the deuce I'm going to get out of them, but it's time. <laughs> Henry. Elizabeth. Me. Get him on the sofa. Yes. You got any old Andy? Here, I'll do that. Uh, My boy, not. No, no. I would have expected the Baron to drink it himself. I'm going to take you home with me, Henry. No, I can't. My work. I will see that it is painlessly destroyed. Oh, my fault. There, Henry, you can't do any more now. You must come home until you get well again. Dissection. He's going to dissect it. This is probably not going to go well. <laughs> oh, is he going to kill this guy? Oh, man. So Frankenstein's got a kill count of two so far. And now he's escaped. Well, wow, that's beautiful. It's like heaven being with you again. My work. Those horrible days and nights. You're not to think of those things anymore. When will our wedding be? Your great-grandfather wore this, Henry. Okay, <laughs> day of the wedding. Looks as good as new now. How about a little drink, eh? <laughs> My grandfather bought this wine and laid it down. <laughs> My grandmother wouldn't let him drink it. Baron Frankenstein is stealing the show. Here's the health to a son of the House of Frankenstein. A son to the House of Frankenstein. House of Frankenstein. House of Frankenstein. Thank you. <laughs> It's extraordinary how friendly you can make a lot of people on a couple of bottles of beer. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow they'll all be fighting. No <laughs> I hope there's plenty of beer. At all events, there's lots more where that came from. Yeah, lots more beer where that came from. <laughs> Shot looks kind of handheld here. So it kind of makes you feel like you're there. Monsters wandering around the countryside. Goodbye. Be a good girl now. Come on, kitty. Who are you? I'm Maria. <laughs> Will you play with me? Creepy and touching at the same time. Would you like one of my flowers? He smiled. You have those, and I'll have these. See how mine float? Oh, no more flowers. Oh, boy. No, you're hurting me! Uh oh. <clears throat> yeah, she doesn't float. So he killed again. Got a kill count of three now, but totally unintentional. <laughs> I'm getting Will Ferrell and Elf vibes. Henry. Elizabeth. I must see you for a minute. Well, what is it? Henry, I'm afraid. Where's Dr. Valdman? Why is he late for the wedding? Something is going to happen. I could just do something to save us from it. From what, dear? From what? Henry. Henry. What's that? What's that? Dr. Valdman. No, darling, you stay here. Henry. Henry. Dr. Valdman has been murdered in the tower. The monster. He's been seen in the hills terrorizing the mountainside. He's in the house. How do you get in the house? It's in the cellars. There he is. It almost looks like nighttime, dark and stormy outside those windows. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, there's the image of her sprawled across the bed that you see in one of the movie posters. Oh, wow. Heartrending. Maria, she's drowned. Why'd you bring her here to me? But she's been murdered. Yeah! I'll see that justice is done. Who is it? There can be no wedding while this horrible creation of mine is still alive. Ludwig, you will search the woods. Those are your group. Frankenstein, you will take to the mountains. I will lead the third group by the lake. The fiend must be found. The fiend must be found. A uh, true mob. How do they balance standing up in those boats? An aerial shot there. Are you searched there? The rest come with me. Which way did you tell me? Tell me. Come on, quick. Come on, boy. Like Dracula, this is a movie that doesn't have like a music soundtrack to it. Oh, come back. Uh, Frankenstein's this getting way. isolated. Now, Frankenstein, where are you? Oh, here he comes facing off with the monster. <laughs> cool. He's not afraid of that torch right now. Listen. It's Frankenstein. Whoa, watch out for that fire. Like, legit uh, danger on the set. So the monster's thinking to hide or steal the, steal the guy. Oh, here's the windmill scene. That's cool. This is a pretty intense scene. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Frankenstein! Take him home. Okay, they're burning the uh, windmill down. Monsters trapped. Wow, just utter chaos. Wow. Whoa. Oof. Pretty safe to assume the monster died there. Well, go ahead and knock. We know he didn't, but... What do you want, eh? <laughs> we thought that Mr. Henry could do with a glass of his great-grandmother's wine. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Henry doesn't need this. As I said before, he does, right? I say again, here's to a son, to the house of Frankenstein. Oh, that... The end. Like Dracula, the end kind of came a little quicker than I was expecting. Now the credits say the monster Boris Karloff, whereas at the beginning of the movie it had a big question mark there, which was kind of kind of fun. Yeah, Fritz was played by Dwight Fry, who uh, played Renfield in Dracula. So that was my first time watching Frankenstein. I think overall I preferred Dracula as a movie. Frankenstein was a little slower moving for me, but the scenes with the monster were fantastic. I could watch the scenes with Frankenstein's monster portrayed by Boris Karloff over and over again. Here are my top three scenes from Frankenstein. Scene number three. About four and a half minutes into the movie, Frankenstein and his sidekick Fritz are digging up the grave. There's a body hanging from the gallows that they cut down. It's just a dark and grim scene, cool atmosphere, and they look crazy. It's pretty cool. My second top scene from Frankenstein is about 23 minutes in when they're in the laboratory the laboratory and the creature gets hoisted to the sky into the storm and comes to life the retro 1930s lab is so cool and the scene culminates with frankenstein's monster's hand slightly moving and the doctor saying it's alive it's alive 
my number one scene from Frankenstein is the windmill scene. They've just had a big fight in the mountains. Frankenstein is unconscious. Then the villagers catch up with them and they have their burning torches and the dogs and they're screaming. Then the doctor and the monster face off around that big gear in the windmill, which is kind of dramatic. Then they're wrestling out on the balcony. Ultimately, the monster throws Frankenstein off the balcony. The villagers set the windmill on fire. The monster is shrieking. It's total chaos. Do you agree with my top three scenes? Do you disagree? Do you have your own favorites? Let me know in the comments. I've now watched two of the Universal Classic Monster movies, and there are 28 more to go. I'll see you at the next one. If you're interested in watching another movie reaction, watch this video next. Movie reaction. How come I can't say movie reaction? Movie reaction. Moo. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use any of this. And cut.